Okay, in this video, we're doing number two from the 2023 AP Calculus BC exam. This is a parametric slash vector problem. Let's take a look. Uh, for zero to pi, a particle is moving along a curve shown. I'm not going to show it. You don't really need it. Um, where x of t is not explicitly given, y of t is 2 sine of t. It's known that dx dt is e to the cosine of t. Um, at time t equals zero, the particle is at one zero. Part A, find the acceleration vector of the particle at one. Show the setup uh, to your calculations. So I'm just going to say that a of one, I mean, it's going to be x double prime of one comma y double prime of one. I know that on uh, the other, the a, b, like motion problems, you have to say that like acceleration is the derivative of velocity, but I'm not like finding velocity. I'm going straight to acceleration. I think this should be fine. Calculator problem, go to the calculator. I defined y of t, I defined dx of t. I always call derivatives d whatever, so dx of t. Um, and then I just find the first derivative of dx dt, which is x double prime. And I find the second derivative of y of t, which is y double prime. And then I'm just going to write these down. So a of one is gonna be negative 1.444 comma negative 1.683. Okay, so uh, that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. For zero to pi, find the first time t at which the speed of the particle is 1.5. Show the work that leads to your answer. So speed is the magnitude of velocity. So I'm gonna start off by saying, uh, by saying that basically. So square root of uh, dx dt or x prime squared plus dy dt or y prime squared. And then uh, that's going to have to be equal to 1.5. And so I initially tried to use solve. I also, you can see on my calculator, I just stored a new function as dy of t so that I didn't have to mess around with the, you know, plugging a derivative in there. So just to find a new function, I think it's a good move. I use solve uh, such that t is greater than zero and it's giving me a warning that more answers might exist. That made me a little bit nervous. So then I went and I just graphed uh, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Make sure when you graph the left-hand side, you use x as your variable. Otherwise, you just won't see a graph. Uh, found the intersections. These answers uh, are the same. So now I'm pretty confident that my answer is approximately 1.254. So not a bad problem. Uh, two different approaches to solving it. Solve is not a thing that they expect you to be able to use on a calculator. So by graphing is what they really expect you to be able to do. So make sure that you, you know, possess that skill. All right, part C. Find the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle at time one, time t equals one, uh, and then also find the x-coordinate of the position of the particle at time t equals one. These have nothing to do with each other. They're just sneaking in extra questions at this point. So the slope is gonna be dy dx at t equals one. To find dy dx at t equals one, we're gonna do dy dt divided by dx dt, and that's at t equals one. I'm gonna use a calculator, but I'm gonna set up the other one first and then just do the calculator in one, one shot. To figure out the position at t equals one, we have to know the position at some time. Well, they tell us at t equals zero, the particle is at one zero, so x is one. If I wanna find the position at one, x of one, that's gonna be x of zero plus the displacement, the integral from zero to one of x prime of t dt. So initially I just wrote that, then I got a little nervous because at no point in time had I said what x of zero would represent. Although I guess the problem does kind of account for that. Um, but I rewrote it as just one plus the integral from zero to one because I got nervous. If you get nervous, just show more work. That's, that's my answer to that question. Should I show work? Do it if you're nervous. Um, all right, calculator. I just let the calculator find dy of one over dx of one, spits out the answer. One plus the integral from zero to one dx dt, dx of t, I should say, dt. Uh, and then those are gonna be our answers. So for this, we get 0 0.630. A lot of that no annoying rounding at the third decimal place. So maybe you just want to write more than three decimals if you're not sure what's going on there, if you don't like it. Um, so 0 0.630 and then 3.342. All right, let's look at part D. Find the total distance traveled by the particle over the time from zero to pi. Show the setup for your calculations. If there's a parametric question, you are going to be asked to find this. So uh, make sure you are prepared for it. That's going to be the integral of speed, so from zero to pi of the square root of x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared, and then finish off that radical and dt. And it's calculator, so go to the calculator, and we can see we get uh, 6.035. And that's the entire question. 
Okay, so I hope this was helpful and good luck.